What's up, Doomers? Welcome back. I'm here to tell you today how you should treat your muff right. Have I lost my notebook already? Okay. So first things first, you gotta buff your muff. And I don't mean rub it to keep it clean. Don't just sit there rubbing your muff. All right, I mean, run a pedal into it that has a buffer. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically a little bit of power in a pedal that always stays there when it's bypassed as well. So it's basically the opposite of true bypass. Now, the confusion with muffs is they're considered fuzzes, but they're not really, they're muffs. They're just muffs, they're not distortions. Well, they are distortions, but they're not traditional fuzzes. So you can run a buffer into them unlike a traditional fuzz, which completely spats out and sounds horrible. The Big Muff actually sounds better with a buffer going into it. Obviously better is subjective, but take a listen to this of how a buffer could improve your tone with your muff in a circuit. <laughs> So now that that simple thing's out of the way, you might have noticed that I had a tube screamer going into it. And despite my normal disdain for tube screamers, running them into a big muff is a hell of a good sound. But there's a bit of a misconception out there that you should run the muff into the tube screamer. So the other way around to what it just did. Now, let's just see how that sounds. Now, of course, everything's subjective, but if you liked this over this, you are wrong. I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to stand up for this opinion. That just sounds shit. Why would you do that? Let's hear it again. I can't. I can't. So if you're a bit confused, having seen other YouTubers putting a tube scream after a big muff and you're not really getting much of a good sound, that's why. So speaking of tube screamers going into big muffs, that's often the most useful way people find to have them is actually that mid boost. And a big muff on its own isn't necessarily the sound they're looking for. But one of my favorite big muffs is the Black Arts Toneworks Faro. And the Faro basically takes that a step further in one box. It's a big muff with a shitload of mid range, like so much that it sits real forward in the mix and can sound really heavy. So one of the things to consider if you're using a big muff is actually getting the right one. I mean, as the average person listening, they might all just sound the same, but obviously us muff aficionados know that there's so much difference in them. Uh, but the one thing I'll say about choosing a big muff is, it's not all about all those boutique things. We've got to remember that these came from electroharmonics and a lot of the tones that we're chasing were the original electroharmonics boxes. So when I see people talking on forums about how the Hazumitas is going to solve all of their problems and how this is the absolute king of muffs. I don't completely agree because this is expensive, right? Whereas you could grab yourself one of the little mini pedal reissues that sound tremendous. Or if you really want to work it, Grab a deluxe. There's so many variants of big muffs out there, and yet somehow Electroharmonics have quietly snuck in their deluxe version to absolutely smash the living daylights out of every single one of them. And here's proof. Honestly, there is nothing wrong with the simple NYC version, whether you've got the mini, the little, the big box as you saw earlier, or the tone wicker version just set to a normal big muff. Maybe the tone you really need to work to is from your amp. So here's a standard big muff into this Victory V40 set to basement mode. <laughs> Now here's the victory set to the black plate fender setting. Mm -hmm. 
That was fucking metal, man. But you could hear how one could push your guitar out of the mix and the other will sort of bed it down in a big Siamese dream wall of sound. So if you're new or old to Big Muffs, I hope that helped you in some way or form. I at least hope that you're now never going to run an overdrive after the Big Muff um, because I just, I feel it's morally wrong. It's morally wrong. And I'll tell you why, because just think, just think about it this way. A tube can go into a muff and really scream, but a muff can't go into a tube. And with that, thanks for watching. See you next time and fuck you, Doomers.